Traveler, Paimon, this day has come earlier than I had expected. My apologies, but my writing career is at stake here, and my reputation in Lady Yai's eyes... I can't... Don't get too cocky, Soka! We won't go easy on you! Shukaku have powers beyond the reach of mere mortals like me. Oh no! Did we go too far? Soka's taking this pretty hard. Miko said it was fine not to look back, but she'll definitely be mad at us when she sees her in this state. Oh, Paimon's freaking out! Okay, we should just go apologize to Miko. 
Come on, Bongo Head. Put on your best guilty face. She looked crestfallen and say something melodramatic like, Beyond the reach of mere mortals, then curl up on the ground and start wailing. Yes, to all of those, actually. Oh, you know it really well, huh? It's better this way. Soka will turn this experience into valuable writing material. She'll be able to portray the protagonist's journey with all the setbacks they face along the way much more compellingly. It will resonate all the more with readers. As for how to flesh out the villain, dominating, ruthless but brilliant, and ultimately victorious, the inspiration will have to come from you. So to That's a conversation for another time! Oh, Miku! Please ask Soka to go easy on us when she writes us into the novel! Traveler, I'm on a missy eye. to the Amorta students, and they were really keen. I got a reply with the information I needed within just a few hours. I've tried making a few different snacks for Twirly Whirly based on the information they gave me, but it didn't seem to like any of them. Maybe I used some of the wrong ingredients or something. So, then I made a new, improved list, and also included ingredients that might suit Bongo Head's taste. Ah, <sighs> I didn't go to bed until way past midnight. <sighs> so, I'm a little out of breath today. How'd you get the results so soon? That was super quick! How's it going, my little Layla? Have you been teaching your opponents a lesson? Yep. Thanks for taking us training, Miss Yai. Trilly Whirly is way more obedient now, and it reacts so quickly. I'm actually kind of envious. But the opponents have gotten stronger, too. So, the pressure is on. I gotta train with Trilly Whirly some more if I want to have a shot at getting into the quarterfinals. The problem is, I'm also planning to visit the Almighty Merchant at 7 in the morning tomorrow to buy all the ingredients I need. Oh, that's no problem. I'll join you with your training session, and we can leave the little ones to buy the ingredients. They're quite the experts in running errands. Oh, sounds like you two help out Miss Yai quite often, huh? Please don't turn us into scary evil bad guys. Don't worry, little Layla. They're just apologizing to me for defeating Soka. Go buy yourself a nice drink, take a break, and catch your breath. Thanks so much. Oh, you guys are the best. This is the address where I arranged to meet up with the Almighty Merchant. And here's the list of ingredients. Hey. You helped us look into Bongo Head's preferences, remember? Glad we can return the favor. As for the potential liabilities we didn't have time to discuss earlier, one good place to start might be the fungi power up materials. Why, this is the most exciting subplot of the novel the secret investigation. I'm sure you must be curious about where the magical powers of the Wisdom Orb and Floral Jelly really come from. Besides, if we fail to uncover what's really going on in this tournament, we simply leave Hania to her own devices. 
Who knows what chaos might ensue? Uh, this is suddenly sounding super complicated. Paimon isn't really following. I suggest that you act just before sunrise, while most people are tired and resting. You may find some important leads. Should we really take Miko's suggestion? Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's wait until early tomorrow morning and go check out the fungi power-up place. Don't worry, Bongo Head. You're not under suspicion or anything. We just want to make sure everyone stays safe in this competition. regular floral jelly. It's right out in the open for everyone to see, and they've even put the recipe on the table. Hmm. Well, it's not like we can just take them away and go investigate them. That'd be stealing, right? We'd probably be disqualified and might even end up getting arrested by the Corps of Dirty. Oh, but we do have a camera. How about we take some pictures of the floral jelly and its recipe? At least then we'll have a record of all the important information. You hold yourselves to pretty high standards, coming here so early to power up your fungi. No wonder you've made it this far. Hania, we need to talk. Your plan you told us about last time, it's way too extreme. Save your breath. If you think I'm wrong, start by defeating me. Then you can show me why exactly you think your opinion is correct. <sighs> she won't listen to us at all. How did things end up like this? Paimon thought we were getting along pretty well at first. All right, fine. Come on, Bongo Head. There's no time to mope.
said that this is where we should be meeting the Almighty Merchant. Oh, the looks on your faces tell me you're searching for the Almighty Merchant. Yeah? Yeah! How did you know? Wait, Dory? <sighs> so you're the Almighty Merchant Layla Minchin? Why so surprised? Every vendor and customer in the Grand Bazaar knows that Lord Sangama Bay possesses the widest and most magical range of goods. Almighty, supreme, omnipotent, these and many more are my exclusive epithets. Any other merchant thinking of using one can forget it. Unless they're prepared to pay millions of mora in licensing fees. Uh, guess Paimon should have known. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But back to business. I'm surprised that Layla sent you here on her behalf. I suppose she must be busy enjoying the Beast Tamer turn. Sounds like you two get along pretty well. <laughs> it has nothing to do with getting along. Layla previously bought a few things for me. They weren't the most valuable goods, but they were still a lot of mora for a student. So naturally, I now keep tabs on her activity, which is why I know that she's taking part in a very suspicious tournament. Mm-hmm. Something just didn't feel right. As it happens, I do have some goods I'm trying to get off my hands. They're a little hot for my liking, but so far, no takers. They're also taking up space. So I think I'll just give them to you. Um, this is just a bunch of spare parts and random notes. I'm told this is a device and some documents that the organizer attempted to destroy, but they were careless. Some people will scavenge through anything hoping for a chance to get rich. Sure enough, someone fished these out of the water and sent them to me. Now that Paimon takes a closer look, this looks similar to the recipe for floral jelly. And these parts look like they came from a wisdom orb. Maybe they were used during the experiment phase. Let's hold on to them for now and have Miku take a look later. Maybe she'll notice if there's anything fishy about them. Yeah, seems like our worries were well placed after all. But Paimon still wants to hang out with Bongo Head. I don't know what you two are talking about, but it sounds like these items might prove useful to you. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount. 60 million mora. Thank you for your business. Why, you sneaky little... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no one gives a hoot about these items except for you and the Matra. We have other business to do today. Uh, consider this a little extra I'm throwing in to sweeten the deal. Show me Layla's list. I just need to know what she wants. Once I finish stacking up the goods, I'll send someone to deliver them to her so that you don't have to. That's a relief. Paimon thought all our efforts were gonna go down the drain! We could- Hmm. Flour mixed with Matsutake powder, a vintage jam, Zaytun peach juice? Uh, is this really the fungi diet? How did Layla even find that out? Paimon still feels kinda uneasy about all this, but we don't have much time! If Cotillia really is plotting something... I can see you're serious about this. Good. Time to put my years of rigorous training to full use. Now, prepare to witness the power of my all cryo.
Frost. My team has been defeated? Whew! That was a hard-won battle. You and your buddies put up a good fight, Bunglehead. Traveler, Paimon, I saw you guys made it to the next round. Hey, Layla, you're looking well today. And Twirly Whirly looks really happy. Guess you won your last round, too. It was a close call. I only won by a hair. Oh, I'm so glad I trained with Miss Yai beforehand. Also, the almighty merchant just sent someone to deliver the stuff I ordered. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go catch up on some rest with Twirly Whirly now. Hmm... My stamina's running low. Let's keep the volume down. Speaking of Miss Yai, where did Miku go? Mm. She left in a hurry with Soka. I guess they must have had something urgent to do. Also, I think they were escorted by a mercenary from the Corps of Thirty. When I returned to the arena, they were already quite a distance away. It didn't feel right to run after them and ask what they were up to. Could be. Miku has been putting a lot of time into the tournament lately, so Kaima wouldn't be surprised if she also said that she wanted to look for inspiration while enjoying her vacation. A mercenary was probably... The quarterfinals are coming up. To me, this is the most... Yeah! Did really well to come this far in the tournament. Keep it right. We have to stay vigilant. Okay, let's take some photos of the items we got from Dory to add to the ones we took this morning. 